Hello, we are three musketeers. I am Megan, this is Cora, and this is Gina. We are obviously <coughs> here to share our own opinions on how to increase bus ridership here at BCC. And so that's our main objective. And so some quick background information. Obviously this is part of the two year pilot program. And then the quota is to meet at least 10 unique riders per hour, which is about 120 per day. And there is a $10 fee at the beginning of each semester that students pay for the bus route. So there is no additional fees to ride the bus. And that goes from seven to seven, 12 hours a day. And then I'm gonna take it on to Cora for more information and solutions. Um, so some problems that we noticed when we talked to a lot of the students here and when we just talked amongst our peers um, was that a lot of people didn't know about the bus um, because there wasn't signage that they saw and there wasn't any announcements that they saw and they just really had a lot of lack of awareness uh, about the bus. And another problem was that a lot of, as mentioned a lot, uh, females especially are afraid to ride the bus. There's a safety concern um, for a, not just a school bus, but a public bus. And another problem was that a lot of students didn't find it convenient. They didn't think that um, it was super beneficial for them to ride the bus. They didn't see um, the need for them when they had their own transport. Um, so a lot of the criteria that we focused on in creating solutions that we could think of uh, was that it worked within the two-year pilot program, that it was uh, something that you could do or the college could do within the two-year pilot program, and also that it wasn't too costly or anything, and that it was very efficient. Um, and some of the solutions that we came up with uh, were obviously signage is needed because so few students saw signs around campus. Um, um, this includes signs on the bus station, which we know is a Mountain Metro thing that you have to talk to them, but we would hope that you could um, try and convince them to have some signage of bus times and the routes that are able to be taken because that way it's just very easy to check what route you can take to where, which place you need to go. And also some benefits for students would be better like discounts in the area surrounding the Voyager transfer station and also here on campus prizes, anything that could really motivate students to go and actually want to ride the bus. And another thing um, that was also mentioned before was uh, a face-to-face, -face, you going to classrooms and talking to students because we have learned in this class that face-to-face -face interaction is one of the best ways to really get your point across and to have a beneficial conversation. So going to classrooms and really talking to the students I think would motivate a lot of them to want to ride the bus. Okay, so now that you're aware of the background information, um, some criteria that we have, and uh, our ideas of solutions on how you can increase bus ridership here at Rampart, we wanted these ideas to um, be effective as of spring and fall of 2019. So what we came up with was to plan all the face-to-face uh, -face, um, interactions with classrooms, and to plan the benefits that you're going to provide for students. If you're going to do it in the cafeteria or in the bookstore, like create some discounts. If you're going to do that, make that happen in spring 2019. And then for fall 2020, we wanted you to maybe have um, some prizes available for students um, uh, throughout that semester because this semester is already over and there's really nothing that can happen as much as it would next year. Mm -hmm. And um, just to recap everything that we talked about, the bus is a really good way to get students involved here at PPCC and um, provide more bus ridership, of course. And so this cannot happen without signage, face-to-face uh, -face interactions, and benefits for students because most, a lot of students are extrinsically motivated to do things if you provide them with benefits. So. Uh, if we increase advertisement with signs and uh, provide benefits, uh, we will get more students to ride the bus. Thank you. We for really appreciate everybody's time, especially Conrad hearing our ideas. We really hope that you take a lot of these into consideration.